okay you must have seen the first part in which i explained the diode switching circuits where the anode terminals were connected together in the parallel now let's consider a scenario where we will actually tie up all the cathode terminals together of a diode and the individual inputs will be applied at the anode terminals fine so let's have a look of it here we are again connected the vs rs and uh, let's again consider we are having three diodes that are connected in the parallel and again the output will be taken at this common point and it will be measured with respect to obviously ground fine okay let's start the case where vs is actually equal to plus 5 volts or 10 volts okay so i do suppose that we have connected the source voltages equal to plus 10 volts again and uh, again we are assuming a b and c all are equal inputs and we will see how the circuit will act so when a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to all are 5 volts then what happens you can clearly see that anode is at lower voltage potential with respect to the cathode okay so all diodes will be reverse biased and anode to cathode potential is equal to 5 volts minus 10 volts which is actually equal to minus 5 volt so all diodes will be replaced with an open circuit so let's just draw the its equivalent here we are having the cathode terminal so i will draw it uh, okay this will be actually an open switch fine and uh, again you will have the plus 5 volt battery so this was vs and we are taking the v out at this point with respect to the ground okay so approximately we will be getting the output voltages that are actually equal to the input voltages fine and now let's consider an other case where we will have input a b and c a is equal to b is equal to c all are equal to minus 5 volts fine so let's say i am applying the negative voltages at all the input terminals one thing more here you will be assuming source voltage equal to minus 10 volts fine so we will always be assuming the source voltage negative when we are actually tying, uh, tying up the cathode terminals as common point fine now if you calculate the anode to cathode potential in this case when all inputs are same you will see you have to subtract minus 5 minus minus 10 volt and this will be equal to plus 5 volt and since all inputs are same so equal potential difference will be existing across each diode and all diodes will go into the conduction at the same time and you can draw again the equivalent circuit like shown below minus 10 volt we have r and i will just draw for the input a only because all will behave in the similar manner you will be replacing here diode with a simple closed switch in case of the ideal diode or you can replace it with a battery in case of the uh, in case of the practical diode mark fine so here we are having the negative terminal of the diode connected at this point i will draw the negative terminal of the battery and then anode is represented with the positive terminal of the battery 
and again here you have connected the negative supply voltages so you will draw negative terminal of the battery and then positive terminal of the battery fine and if I do write its value this is equal to 7 0.7 volt and it's equal to 5 volts fine and since they both are negative so this is minus 0.7 and minus 5 volt and you can see V out is measured from this point to with respect to ground so that's why we will have the total output voltages at this time equal to minus 0.7 volt minus 5 volt which is equal to minus 5.7 volt and since all input diodes are having the equal potential difference that's why equal or each minus 5.7 point voltages will be existing at the output terminal now again what happens if you set the anode terminal or input A is equal to 0 volt or B and C equal to minus 5 volt. So you can clearly see anode to cathode potential for the input A is equal to 0 is actually equal to 0 minus 10 0 minus into minus 10 volt which is equal to plus 10 volts again a positive value. And for the inputs B and C, if B and C are equal to minus 5, then you will have the potential difference equal to minus 5 volt minus minus 10 volt, which is equal to plus 5 volt again. Now, in this case, what will happen since the maximum potential difference is existing only for the input A where the diode D1 will be forward biased and after the conduction or after being forward biased obviously it will go into the conduction and both diodes d1 and d2 will be reverse biased since they will be more negative with respect to the more positive sorry with respect to the anode so that's why they will act as an open switch and only conduction will take place through the diode d1 fine so let's consider uh, find the output voltage in that case when where a is equal to 0 volt and b and c are equal to minus 5 volt since they both are open diode and conduction is taking place via diode d1 i will draw it like this it is acting as a closed switch so input is grounded you can see you will have minus 0.7 volt at the output terminal i hope the idea is clear if you have any question you can simply drop in the comment box and obviously i will try my best to answer you thank you for watching take care